Okay, so I'm going to show you how to set up a custom email, a business email, with your custom domain in System.io. You need this to send out uh, email, your autoresponder. So let's get to it. So here we are in my uh, my dashboard, and let's go over here to, towards your your icon, your, and then come down here to settings. Click, come over here to the left-hand panel, and go to custom domains. Now here we are um, in the domain section. We're going to, what we want to do is add a domain, and then you type in type in a domain that you own. I have uh, www.incomearmy.com. I'm going to save that, and what they will do is generate some DNS records for you that you go over to your Namecheap account. So I use Namecheap. Um, it's one of the best things and here are your records so then we come over here to Namecheap and here I am in Namecheap I've already logged in I went to my domain list over here and now um, oh wait let's click it again let's go over here to domain list and it shows my domains and then I'm going to use Income Army here I'm going to click on manage and it'll pop up and then come over here to advanced DNS so come over here to advanced DNS. Okay, we're gonna come down here to actions. We are going to, um, if there's any actions in here, we're gonna remove. There are no records. Let's see, select the records to be modified. I don't see any, so we're gonna add a new record and we're gonna come down here to CNAME. We are gonna add our CNAME record and here we have host and then our target value. Then we come back over to our system IO where they gave us our values and we're going to copy this first line and then remember to get the dot in there at the end and the, and we're not going to worry about this the beginning over here um, and then we're going to go back over and we're going to paste that into our target value and then for host we're going to click in www and then click on the save icon and that is our first one and now we're going to do it one more time we are going to add C name record and then go back over to system IO first we'll get the second half control copy and then come back over here and put it in the, in the target Okay, now we want to go back over to our system I.O. We want to grab this. We do not want to grab the dot on this one. So no period on this. We want to go all the way up to the period. IncomeArmy.com. We don't want that part. So control copy. Go back over to our DNS record and put it into our host. Control V. And there we have it. All right. So save changes, save changes. We've got it all set up. And then it will take a few minutes to, to register over here on um, System IO. We can refresh the page and pending validation. It'll take a little while. That could take up to 24 hours actually. So we will come back once it's validated and check it again and then it'll be ready to use on our email funnels, our email sequences. Okay, now that we have our custom domain set up and it is verified, you can see it says it's ready to use, there are two more steps we need to do to complete our, our mail setup and being able to send mail through System.io and set up our autoresponder. So what we need is a business email and you can get that through several different um, places. You can get it from uh, G Suite, if you have G Suite, that's $6 a month. Or what I'm gonna do is set it up through my Namecheap account. And I'm gonna come over here to Namecheap and come over here to email and business email. And as you can see, it is 91 cents a month or $10 a year if you wanna buy the year. Or you can start with a free trial since this is, uh, I'm gonna set it up for free at first. So you get the first two months for free. So I'm going to click get email and I use my own Namecheap domain. Okay, I selected IncomeArmy.com. 
I'm going to press continue. As you see over here, it says two months for free. And I'll hit continue. Add to cart. Okay, so we'll hit confirm. We'll get the two months for free. And then we'll take a look at this. Payment settings. It's going to use my payment settings. Subtotal. Um, they agreed to the terms, pay now. And then once it processes, we'll have our business email set up and then ready to use on system IO. Okay, there it is. Create mailboxes. Now come down here to create mailboxes. We want to create a mailbox with our name, with our sender name. Um, let's try to set up the create the email the mailbox okay mailbox name uh, I'm gonna say info at incomearmy.com type in a password mailbox storage five gigabytes okay Okay, so we have our mailbox all set up. Now the last step we need to do is come back over to System I/O, and we are going to uh, go to mailbox settings, and we are going to authenticate our email deliverability, and this helps the um, emails get into the inbox. So we want to get them delivered into the inbox. Don't want them to go to spam or anything like that so this helps them if you watch my video on five tips on how to get uh, your emails into the inbox then you know that you want to also uh, do those five steps but i won't get into that right now so i am going to set this up and we're going to click this button here set up and our click our domain name which is incomearmy.com Okay, now we have to make these records over onto our Namecheap account like we did before. We're going to uh, create some CNAME records right here. And then these are going to be our values. So what we're going to do is take these values just like we did in the Namecheap uh, uh, or our custom domain and co take them over to our Namecheap account. And we're going to copy it. We're going to come over to our Namecheap account. Uh, let's see, where are we? Where's Namecheap? I'm going to click Manage, of course, same Advanced DNS. And then come down here to CNAME. We're going to add a CNAME, add a new record. Uh, come down here to CNAME again. And then we're going to paste that into our target here. V and then come over here for our host. We're going to come over back to System IO and we're going to grab everything um, before this period here. So, all these numbers. So, you don't want to grab the period. Control, oops, control, copy, and then come back over to advanced DNS record and then control V and then paste it in there. Now, we're going to click. Click the Save Changes, and we're going to add a new record, add a C name, and we're going to do it again for our target. We're going to go back over to our email settings. We're going to do the next one. Grab everything from the value, copy it, bring it over, and paste it. Now we're going to do something for the host. Once again, we're going to go back over. System IO, grab everything in front of the period, the period in front of income.com. So we grab all of this, copy it, come over to our DNS record, our CNAME record, and paste it. We're going to do it one more. We're going to click the save button, and then we're going to add one more. Come down to CNAME, go to target, go back over. To our email settings, grab this one, copy, and then go over and paste it. Now we do the same for anything for the host and everything in front of the period there. We're going to grab it 
and then we're gonna go paste it and there we go save it and there we have it okay and that's gonna take a little while to um, populate of course uh, may take a little while to authenticate but we can fill in this here now we want to go info dot info at IncomeArmy.com Sender name, I want to put in my name Tarek Salem and then I want to this is the uh, test email I want my test email to go to my personal email because I check that more often so it'll go straight over there whenever I do a test email automatically send a test and then you can put a footer here if you want to I'm not going to and then display my affiliate link we might as well display that and then unsubscribe has to be done so we're going to save that and there we go we have that all set up now we can set up our email sequences using our business email